It has recently come to my attention that in my other watermarking videos, some confusion has arisen on which version of Lightroom you're using. So I wanted to clear that up really quick. So this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a watermark on Lightroom CC. Now, if you're using Lightroom Classic, go ahead and click this video. I'll th try and throw a card here because this current video will not show you how to do that. This is only for Lightroom CC. Now you might be wondering, well, which Lightroom am I using? Let's clear that up too. If you're using Adobe, whether it's the Creative Cloud, all of the apps, or if you're just using the Photographer Plan, which comes with Lightroom and Photoshop, you should have both. Now, if you go onto your desktop, on the top right of your screen should be the little Adobe symbol. When you click that, it opens up this page right here. Now, if you go into the top left and click all apps, you will see all of these apps that are here and then all of the ones that you can install. Again, if you're using the Adobe full creative cloud, you will be able to use all of these. If you're just using the photographer plan, you'll be able to get classic CC and Photoshop. I think if I'm wrong, comment below and let me know because I've always used the cloud. So I'm actually not sure what comes with the photography plan, but per Adobe, they all come with it anyways. This one, LRC, the emblem that says LRC is Lightroom Classic, and it looks like this. The other one, LR, is Lightroom CC. They removed the CC, but it stands for Creative Cloud, which syncs to Lightroom Mobile. So when you put pictures or presets or whatever in Lightroom CC, it syncs to your Lightroom Mobile as long as you're logged into the same Adobe membership. This one looks like this. They're a little bit different layouts, but essentially they are the same. They have the same capabilities. I personally use Lightroom Classic, which is this one. But for this video, we are going to be doing watermarking in Lightroom CC. So let's get started. Will Simpson here and welcome to Exploring Photography. I greatly apologize for that extremely long intro. I just wanted to make sure that this is the right video for you because there are two separate entities of Lightroom, Classic and CC. Now, this video, we're gonna show you how to watermark in CC, but not how to create a watermark. If you wanna create a watermark, go hire someone on Fiverr or Upwork or find a graphic designer and then you can use that to then watermark your photos. Since we're in Lightroom CC, we're gonna right click on the image. We're going to go to export and export the image. This is where you do your watermarking. If you look on the right hand side here, it says include watermark, select that. You'll notice here is the little symbol, the graphic that I have put in there already. In order to change that, go over here to the little cog wheel, the settings, click that. This will bring you up to the watermark sections. We're gonna start with text up here in the top left. You can type in anything you want. Let's go ahead and type in, don't go stealing my images. <laughs> okay, good. And then you can change the font here to whatever you want. You can change the style. Let's say, let's just make it bold. Then you can change the color. Now you only have the options of black and white. And they're very basic. You can rotate it so you can move it wherever you want and use a drop shadow so you can add a shadow to the back of it. It just adds a default one. You don't have control over how the drop shadow looks so you can choose or not. And speaking of Lightroom, if you would like to get some awesome free presets and a Lightroom hotkey cheat sheet, I want to send them to you for free. I made three presets that are absolutely amazing and a Lightroom hotkey cheat sheet to help you speed up your edits. All you have to do is click the link in the description, fill out the form and they'll be emailed directly to you. The anchor is where it's positioned, where it's locked and then you can kind of pull it and adjust it from there. So let's say we wanna do it in the top middle. We click top middle and then we can adjust the size so I can make the size bigger. I can more make it more or less visible with the opacity. Then we can adjust the vertical offset so I can move it up and down. But because it's anchored in the middle, I can't go left and right. Now let's say I do the middle. This one is middle, middle. So you can't adjust it anywhere from there. If I do left, uh, the right side, notice I can now adjust the horizontal offset so I can move it. So each anchor can be customized just slightly. You just kind of have to play around and figure out which one works best for you. So let's go on to graphic, but first, if you could go ahead and hit that like button really quick, it makes a big difference and I greatly appreciate it. Next is graphic. Now this is kind of a cool feature because it allows you to take a graphic, upload it and use it as your watermark. So let's say you wanna upload a graphic. So you click this little box and then find the one you wanna use. So let's use this one, press choose. Now this is very, very faded. So we're gonna up the opacity so you can see what we're doing. Uh, let's go ahead and set it. Let's see, I kinda want it top left. So let's go ahead and move the offset here and 
Perfect, good. And then let's lower the opacity. And there we go. We've officially watermarked our image. Once that's done, you press done and then export and then boom, your images is officially watermarked. Now I believe, let's say, let's go ahead and export it and see what happens. Let's just do it on the desktop. There's so much stuff on the desktop. Desktop. Okay, good. Then if I export, let's go to another photo here. If I export this one, it has already the watermark option checked. So make sure if you want to export the image without the, the watermark to uncheck that because whatever you did on the last export, it will generally save those settings. So you just have to make sure you make those proper changes depending on the what you want when you're exporting. And that's it. That is the easiest way to watermark your photo in Lightroom CC, not classic. Again, if you wanna see how to do it in classic, I'll link the video in the description. Otherwise, that is it. Like the video if, uh, if it was helpful. I hope this clears up the difference between Lightroom CC and classic. And uh, if you have any questions, comment below. Again, I do the videos like this every Monday at 7 p.m. At this point, I'm sure you guys know this. I think I might stop saying that because I feel like it gets repetitive. Either way, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Some of my other watermark, a little bit um, ability, and <clears throat> and then you find your logo in the blah, 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 folders. In the folders, use the word folders. And then you find your. Fo